back to our channel and another DIY project. So this time we are at our brother's apartment in New York. So my love for DIY projects never end. So I'm just helping him to attach this big full length mirror which we got from IKEA yesterday. And uh, he wants us to install it on this wall. This is a drywall. I can see a small nail over here. So I'm assuming that there's a, this is a stud. Um, I have very limited tools in his apartment. I didn't get my full toolkit. Uh, these are all the tools. This is the toolbox he had. I got this leveler uh, from the near hardware, uh, nearby hardware store. Uh, got these self-anchoring plastic anchors. This is how it looks. Costed me about 30 bucks to get this and the leveler. So with these tools, I will be installing the mirror. The very first thing we need to do is um, we need to measure the width of the wall. So this is about 45 inches. So we make a mark right in the center and then we will calculate um, where all do we need to put in the screws at the back of the mirror. So the IKEA mirror doesn't come with the screws but uh, they have this uh, mount at the back the mirror will hang on the screws on the side yeah, so i think we can take this as the center so this nail is right in the center of the wall the next thing what we do is mark the center of the mirror let's measure the mirror first it's about 29.5 so 29.5 divided by 2 is 2 on the 2 2 for the 8 14.75 I'm really bad at math so I usually take Ankita's help or calculator so 14.75 I am also not able to see the white pen but I think we have a marking here. Next we will measure the distance between the center and the mounting bracket which has been provided by IKEA on the mirror. Okay, there are a couple of options where we can put in the screws so the distance between the this end will be lesser than the distance between the middle and at the end so we'll do it right at the top so that it gives a lot of support uh, just to so just to measure so it's about 11.1 um, inches from the center a small trick is that we can measure the exact distance with the help of a marker and that way we don't need to know the small markings or to be very precise yeah so this is a small mark which i put on the tape same thing i'll do is see yeah i think we're good we'll put the mirror against the wall just to have a final uh, idea before we hang the mirror. This is the center and we marked the spot using that white pen. So on the right I'll just mark the edge first. I just put in two marks, I know they are not straight, so using a level, I will just mark the, do the final marking. As you can see the bubble is right in the middle, so that means the level is straight. These are the final two holes. Just check once before we make the actual holes. About 57 centimeters to be exact. 
and behind the mirror from this end until this end it should be 57 centimeters if my calculation is correct i think it is fine we are about to make the final holes in the wall so these are um, drywall anchors using a hammer we we'll just push it in until here and now where, where the grooves comes we just use a phillips head put it inside the sleeve and then we'll start turning it and they're self drilling this is our marking and we have the plastic screw um, sleeve for the drywall it's about uh, an inch straight and then it has these grooves you first use a hammer using a phillips head a flat phillips head which is a little broader we'll just turn this and it goes inside straight so this is flush with the wall uh, comes with screws i'll change the screw head bit to a flatter one pointed one actually which will fit these screws Just, yeah so this will fit the screw this is the manual provided and this is the mirror we have this size and if we continue to the last page it says maximum seven millimeters the screw should be out of the wall for us to hang the mirror on it this is about i would say five millimeters outside the wall from the wall so we will just hang the mirror and hope it's straight Leveler and ta -da! the bubble is right in the middle, and the mirror looks great. This was a small how to video on installing a mirror on a drywall using drywall anchors. Um, if you'd like to see such more videos, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Hope you enjoyed this video. Until next time, bye-bye.